Today we're talking all about sinking funds. What is a sinking fund? How to use one? Why it's so important for your finances? And examples of sinking funds that you can start in your budget today. So make sure you stick around for today's video. Hey guys, I'm Marissa and welcome back to my channel, The Budgeting Wife, where we talk about budgeting tips to help you win with money. Today we're talking about such an important budgeting tip and that is the sinking fund. I get asked this question all the time of what is a sinking fund and honestly, it is one of the best things that you could do for your budget. Because of using a sinking fund, Jacob and I have been able to do things like go on a vacation, even cover an emergency without any worry at all because the money is already taken care of. So we're going to be talking about the secret of a sinking fund and how you can use one in your budget. But before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. And here I share all different kinds of budgeting tips and I would love to have you be part of the community here. So what is a sinking fund? It is a way for you to save money every single month for a purchase or an expense that you know is coming up. And by using a sinking fund, you therefore already have the money set aside for a larger purchase that you're anticipating. And therefore, it's not any sort of pain in your budget when these larger things come up because you already have the money set aside. You use a sinking fund by taking the total cost of an expense that you know is coming up and figuring out how many months you have until you will have to spend the money. And then you take that total cost and divide it by the number of months that you have left over and you save that amount each month. And then by the time that you are ready to make that purchase, you already have all of the money sitting aside and ready to go. Therefore, your budget has given you the permission to spend on something because you just planned ahead for it. So here are a few examples of sinking funds that you may want to use. Christmas is a great use of a sinking fund. So if by January 1st, you decide that you wanna spend $1,200 on Christmas that year, you can take 1,200 and divide it by how many months until Christmas, which is 12, and then you would save $100 each month. And so then by December, you have $1,200 sitting in your bank account just ready to use for Christmas. And that way, you're not scrambling to find money or cut things out of your budget or even going into debt for Christmas, but instead you already have the money set aside. Another great use of a sinking fund is a vacation, and this is something that we do in our budget for vacations. So if I plan on going to Hawaii in a few months, which we totally are going to Hawaii in May, I'm so excited, but I can take the cost of our entire trip, so let's say that, that is $1,000, and I have three months until I go to Hawaii. So that means that I need to save about $333 every month until our trip. And therefore, when I get to Hawaii, I already have the money set aside in my budget Budget, it is ready to be spent on Hawaii and therefore I don't feel bad about spending it because I've already told those dollars that they're going towards our Hawaii trip. In a more practical sense, a sinking fund can also be used for house maintenance items. And this is something that a lot of people do. So let's say that you have a roof on your house and you know that you need to replace it every 10 years and it's going to cost you $10,000 to replace the roof. Honestly, I'm not a homeowner, so I don't know if that's exactly how much a roof costs or how long it lasts, but we'll just use that for the example. So $10,000 over 10 years means that you need to save $1,000 a year. And that comes to about $83 a month that you would need to save for this roof for the next 10 years. And $83 a month does not sound bad at all, but I can tell you that $10,000 all at once would not feel very great. So this is a great way for you to use a sinking fund to plan for expenses that you know are going to happen at some point. Now we are not pregnant and we don't have kids, but one thing that I definitely want to do when we are pregnant is have a baby sinking fund. To have a place where we can just stock money away and save for everything related to medical expenses for myself and baby as well as other baby necessities. And so to have a fund that I'm just stashing money away and then when we get to the delivery and I have a baby and then the hospital bill comes in the mail, I'll already have the money sitting aside, ready to go, and can just easily write a check and not have to worry about a thing. Sinking funds are such an amazing way to plan for your finances so that you don't feel stressed when a large expense occurs. Now, most of the time, people will only use a sinking fund for things that are a larger cost and something that you couldn't cash flow in a month. But I actually like to use sinking funds for all different kinds of things. 
For example, for Christmas, we plan to not spend a ton of money, but we want to be starting to save something every single month so that our December budget isn't blown out of the water or we're not able to reach our other financial goals for the month of December. So therefore, we're saving just about $30 every single month from now until December to cover our Christmas budget. Now, it's not a lot, and yes, we totally could cash flow Christmas for the month of December, but it's just kind of nice to have the money just sitting aside and growing each month. Creating a sinking fund is an amazing budgeting tool that you can use to win with finances and plan for your financial future. So sit down and think about some larger expenses that you know are going to be coming up and figure out how long it is until you'll need to make that purchase and how much it's going to cost and start planning your sinking funds today. Whether that's for your new water heater or a car replacement, a new roof on your house, or even that family vacation that you are wanting to take. If you start planning now, you will be so thankful once you get to that point and you can easily just take care of that expense without it impacting the rest of your budget. So I hope that this video was helpful for you in learning more about sinking funds. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more budgeting videos and leave me a comment down below and let me know what is one sinking fund type that you like to use. I know that our favorite is definitely that vacation sinking fund. And with that, I'll look forward to seeing you guys in the next video bye guys about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action